Yo, what it do, Spotlight Squad, it's your boy Tony Spotlight. In today's video, we got some weird things going on with these packs that I got from Rite Aid. Uh, I guess you can never really trust where you get your packs from, but just make sure you always double check your packs. Let's check it out. Yo, what it do, Spotlight Squad, it's your boy Tony Spotlight, and we back with some more Evolving Skies. We got these bad boys from Rite Aid. I actually got them for like just above four bucks um, with those Rite Aid uh, privilege cards. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Silver, baby. Four dollars a piece. Let's go. We're going to start off right here with this Umbreon art. We have a Darulodon. You know we are searching for any alternate art, preferably the Rayquaza alternate art. There's a code card right there. Boom. Let's get it. Over to the front, let's go with Grass. Psychic Energy, let's see what we got. We got a Vigoroth, Dream Ball, Xena's Resolve, Slack Off, Gossifleur, Love Disc, Fletchling. We got a Chinchow, Reverse Hollow Hot Bip, and a Metapod. Wait a minute, I just realized right now that the Metapod was in the rare spot, but it's not a rare card. Let's rewind that footage back really quick. Hold on, there's something going on here. And a Metapod. So when I zoom in in the corner right here, you can clearly see it is an uncommon card marked by the diamond, which was in the rare spot of the pack, which makes no sense at all. And actually, the more I look at it, this set symbol is not even from the set that we're opening. It's not even from Evolving Skies. Where the hell did this card come from? And now with even further investigation, I found out this Metapod is from Fusion Strike, which leads me to believe that these packs have been resealed. Metapod. Nose goes on the first. Let's get into the second pack, baby. Brilliant Stars is coming out next month. I am super stoked for that. It's probably going to be the set of the year. I'm going to go ahead and say that now. So um, we'll see. It's got so many dope art cards in there these uh the trainer arts or whatever all kinds of crazy uh fire all kinds of craziness in that set including yes supposedly there is a rainbow rare charizard in there um we'll see though rough lit rock and roll it seems to be true but wait a minute do we just get two what Okay, and now you zoom in on this card, and you see the set symbol is not the same again. This Arbok is actually from Champion's Path. This is ridiculous. These packs are definitely, definitely resealed. That was weird. We got two um, reverse hollows, and this one wasn't even a rare, but this one was. Well, that, that sucks. That's, that's kind of cool, but I mean, where's our where's our rare? We didn't even get a rare. That was stupid. All right, pack number three. Anyways, yeah, brilliant stars. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the Shiz Knit Snap Dap Doodle. There's your code card here. Let's go, baby. One, two, three, four. Let's go with uh, fighting. Dark energy. Come on, baby. Alternate art Umbreon, please. Rebombi. Swablu, C dot dot dot, Wubat, Eevee, Time Pole, Switching Cups, and oh, let's go, baby. Espeon V Max, not bad at all. We do want that alternate art, any alternate art. We did pull a uh, what is it, alternate art, Sylveon, uh, a week ago or so. All right, pack number four. Let's go. Come on. Alternate art. Umbreon, baby. Rayquaza. Alternate art. Rayquaza. I can't believe we got two. What? I did it right, didn't I? At this point, I'm so confused. I don't know what's actually going on, uh, especially with the first and second pack, the third pack being the VMAX Umbreon or Espeon, and then the fourth pack, 
I do the card trick and there's no energy. I'm feeling a little type of way right now about Rite Aid's packs. Let's keep going. That's weird. Uh, we'll just go with it, I guess. Vigoroth, Lombre, uh, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Psyduck, Flabebe. I'm pretty sure I did the card trick right. I don't know how that happened. Uh, we have a Shiftry and another. What, what the hell is going on here? Another Reverse Hollow in this pack. How many cards was in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm so confused. Again, again with the two reverse hollows. One of them not being a rare in the rare spot. I guess this goes to say you can never really trust where you get your cards from anymore. Um, I didn't really check the packs as I opened them. You guys saw me open them right then and there. So maybe next time I, when I open the cardboard, I should check the packs. Um, let's keep it going. I don't know what's going on. That's really weird. Uh, um, I don't know what is happening. What? All right, let's try this again. One, two, three, four. Let's go with water. Okay, so this is right so far. Toy Catcher, Hippodone, Gold Duck, Feebass, Hopip, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacruel. Spirit Mask, and, all right, Feeble. Nothing in those packs except for, like, double Reverse Hollows and this Espeon V Max, which is not bad. Well, I might have to go get some more of those packs because they're seeming a little off, and we might get something good in them. I don't know. Anyway, Spotlight Squad, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Much love. Be kind to one another. We'll see you in the next one. We out of here. Well, I guess it's safe to say that those packs were definitely resealed because there's no way in hell... That two different cards from two different sets are going to be in these packs, if that makes sense. One one card was from Champion's Path. The other one was from Fusion Strike. So there's no way that happens in the factory. Somebody have, had to have tampered with the packs. So I'm not sure what I'm really going to do. Maybe just chalk it up as a loss. Maybe I'll go talk to somebody at Rite Aid. Who knows? Um, but... Like I said, you can never really trust your pack, so double check them every time. We out, folks.